The retail apocalypse is upon us, and it's time to face the harsh reality. Some of the biggest American retailers that we've grown up with and relied on for decades are collapsing right before our very eyes. It's a sad and shocking truth, but one that we can no longer ignore. With mounting debt, declining sales, and the ongoing effects of the pandemic, these once great stores are struggling to keep the lights on and their doors open. From iconic brands to household names, no retailer is immune to the forces that are reshaping the industry. The retail industry has been facing an unprecedented crisis, with established names that have been around for centuries, crumbling under the pressure of the toughest economic environment since the 1970s. Unfortunately, this year, consumers are set to lose some of their favorite stores as mass shutdowns are already happening, and it seems like everyone in the industry is on the edge. One example is Kohl's. Formerly a supermarket chain founded in 1946, Kohl's had to rebrand as a department store to keep up with the changing market trends. However, the department store sector has been the biggest victim of the retail apocalypse, forcing Kohl's to exit the sector in 2022 and restructure its operations to retail fitness, athleisure, and denim clothing. Unfortunately, data provided by insiders shows that for the past seven months, Kohl's's retail sales have dropped, financially eviscerating the company, which is now on Moody's Analytics bankruptcy watch list for 2023. Also known as the Walmart of Weddings, the bridal retail chain, David's Bridal, just filed for bankruptcy and announced its plans to lay off 82% of its staff, around 9,200 workers. The company was in distress for several months before seeking Chapter 11 protection, which marked the second bankruptcy in five years. CEO James Markham revealed that if the company does not find a buyer soon, all stores may be closed by the end of this year, sparking anxiety among brides-to-be from all over the country. The struggling children's apparel retailer has been experiencing severe cash flow problems, declining foot traffic, and increased competition. In March, a Moody's report downgraded Gymboree to negative, and just a few days after news about its most recent bankruptcy filing was released, the company closed 450 stores and laid off hundreds of employees without giving a warning. As a result, on top of a complicated bankruptcy process, the company is also coping with a multi-million dollar class action lawsuit from former staff members. Persistent inflation and high operational costs continue to plague 99 cents only stores, leading to falling consumer demand and negative cash flow for three quarters. Despite multiple out-of-court debt restructurings, the discount chain remains at a disadvantage compared to larger retailers with better supplier networks and market leverage. Experts warn that more challenges lie ahead. The socially conscious footwear brand which used to donate a pair of shoes to charity for every pair purchased, has been facing increased pressure for several years as prices jump and sales go down. To control its debt, it stopped donating shoes and started to donate a share of its profits to charity, but its debt rating was downgraded last summer. Retail analysts predict that this summer may be the last for Tom's Shoes. Los Angeles-based fashion retailer True Religion, known for its high-end denim, has struggled with declining sales as consumers increasingly favor trendy athleisure wear. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2017 due to a $350 million debt and again in 2020 due to pandemic-related economic slowdowns, closing 64 stores. With apparel demand continuing to decline, a third bankruptcy is likely and True Religion's future looks bleak. Tops, a regional grocery chain with 180 locations in New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania, has an uncertain future after filing for bankruptcy. Its massive debt load and $375 million dividend payout have made its business unsustainable and unprofitable. No potential buyers have expressed interest in acquiring the indebted company, leading analysts to believe it's being left to fail. As a result, Experts in the sector predict Tops will struggle to survive. Joanne, the crafting retailer, faced a tough time with declining net sales by 6.8% and a decreased profit of 20% in Q4 2022 compared to a year ago, resulting in an increased debt of $21.5 million. The future outlook is grim for the company as they plan to shut down stores and lay off hundreds of workers to save the business in 2023. Morphe Cosmetics, the beauty manufacturer, 
will permanently close all U.S. stores. The company, established in 2008 and famous for partnering with YouTubers like James Charles, is facing several lawsuits, including non-payment of rent to Arden Fair Mall in 2022. In addition, Morpha's parent company, Forma Brands, has filed for bankruptcy. Morphe is struggling to keep up with the rapidly changing trends in the cosmetics and beauty industry, making its future uncertain. Sears, the once popular department store, has been closing its doors since filing for bankruptcy in 2018. Despite attempts to generate income by selling off parts of the company, Sears has failed to make a profit since 2011. Experts predict that 2023 may be the year Sears finally shuts down permanently. Milk, a North Carolina-based department store chain, has been added back to Moody's bankruptcy watch list, highlighting the vulnerability of department stores and apparel brands to shifts in consumer demand and inflation's impact on disposable income. Experts warn that discretionary companies in the department store and apparel space are at risk of declining, with consumers becoming more cautious and discounts increasing. Belk is among the retailers at risk. Christopher & Banks, a women's apparel retailer founded in 1956, filed for bankruptcy in 2021 and is now closing over 400 stores in America, with out-of-business sales of 40 to 60 percent. Starbucks, not even the world's largest coffee house, was able to escape the retail carnage that keeps accelerating all across the industry. After facing extensive shortages of key ingredients, packaging, and personnel, the company decided to cut costs to weather the storm brewing in the sector. Currently, Starbucks is in the process of closing 500 locations, and your local store may be next on the list. Disney's retail stores, which retail clothing, toys, and other merchandise inspired by its famous films, are suffering from the lowest sales in a decade, with an additional 53 locations being shuttered this year after 60 closings occurred in 2022. The entertainment giant is cutting 7,000 jobs this year, reducing its workforce by 15% as its brick-and-mortar operation underperforms. The company is focusing on its online presence to keep selling its products. Art Van Furniture, the Midwest furniture retailer that also operates under the brands Art Van Pure Sleep and Scott Shubtrine Interiors, just went into Chapter 7 bankruptcy and has liquidated all of its assets. 70% of its stores will be closed by the end of the year, while about 300 locations that were sold to a different parent company will reopen as Love's Furniture. Clark's, the shoe retailer, recently went through a buyout to improve its financial situation. A Chinese company has purchased the 200-year-old UK footwear brand that operates in the US and Europe. However, the change in command has prompted the company to shutter 25 of its stores in America. Almost 2,000 jobs have been cut so far, and many more may soon be on the chopping block as the company faces a bumpy restructuring. Estee Lauder, the beauty retailer that operates brands like Bobbi Brown, Clinique, MAC Cosmetics, Origins, and more, has seen sales decline by 32% in the last quarter of 2022. In an effort to reduce its market exposure, the company is permanently closing 15 of its retail stores and several department store counters, resulting in the loss of over 2,000 jobs. The outlook for 2023 remains gloomy, with the company expecting sales to decline between 12% in the first quarter due to falling demand. This has pushed its shares down by 53 cents in just one week. Furniture Factory Outlet, a home goods retailer primarily based in the central United States, filed for Chapter 11 during the pandemic and was acquired by American Freight. However, slower discretionary spending and a rising debt load forced the company to close over 40 stores and rebrand more than 30 locations in an attempt to boost sales and stay afloat. Gas, a retail jeans specialist, suffered a net loss of $2.9 million due to supply chain problems, transport costs, and reduced demand. The brand is closing 100 stores across the U.S., and copyright controversies may worsen sales. Banksy and other artists' protests on social media have fueled public outrage against the company. H&M, one of the largest clothing retailers in the world, is struggling to stay afloat. The company has suffered losses caused by the pandemic and is permanently closing 320 locations this year, a higher number than originally planned. Over 1,500 roles will be impacted as profits tumble more than expected and costs start to bite. Brick-and-mortar retail faces numerous challenges, 
including rising e-commerce retailers, slowing spending due to the soaring cost of living, and the need to prove their relevance in an era of emerging brands. Unless these retailers find ways to increase their revenues, balance their debts, and differentiate themselves, they may disappear altogether.